The overall goal of this procedure is to set up an ex vivo three-dimensional whole mount tissue culture system to study gene expression manipulation and its effect on extracellular matrix protein distribution. In this procedure, diseased tissue is investigated from patients with Dupuy Trans disease, a benign fiber proliferative disease that causes permanent flexion of the fingers due to the formation of nodules and cords in the palm of the hand. Following collection of nodules from diseased tissue, the fibrotic tissue is sectioned. Then, the ex vivo culture system is set up using the sectioned tissue. Next, tissue parts are treated with different growth factors or chemical compounds. Alternative delivery of the compounds are performed by microinjection of adenoviruses and or lentiviruses to alter specific gene expression. Ultimately, second harmonic generation and two-photon microscopy is used for the assessment of extracellular matrix protein expression and distribution. The major advantage of the three-dimensional culture over the two-dimensional culture of fibroblasts is that the tissue is maintained in its native extracellular matrix environment. The big advantage of this technique over two-dimensional fibroblast culture is the rather large drug screen that can be done from patient-derived material in nearly identical slices. Moreover, this uh, technique can be extended to the culture of hypertrophic scar, other connective tissue, and other skin models as well. Demonstrating the procedure will be Sofia Carcampuna, a PhD student from my laboratory.